Let's talk about Snoop's brand new album. What is this, Snoop, Snoop Dogg's 20th album, I think, 19th, 20th album? Back on Death Row. Back on Death Row features some high quality, very, very immaculate production on this album. And the thing that I really like about this album, Back on Death Row, this album keeps with the continuity of his first album, Doggy Style. DJ Battlecat doing production on this album. High Tech, Superfly, Bink. Hit Boy does several tracks on this album that's very dope. DJ Green Lantern, Knotts, who always comes through with some banging production. Snoop does his thing on Still Smoking, track one. This track samples the intro to Dr. Dre's Chronic album and is produced by Battle Cat. Track two is Gunsmoke. Then we have track three, which is Coming Back, very West Coast traditional West Coast sound of Snoop song produced by Battle Cat, Sandwich Bag, track five, Conflicted featuring Nas. This song was produced by Hit Boy and this song was very, very dope. And I give Hit Boy a lot of grief and Hit, Hit Boy takes a lot of hits from me negatively in the past for, you know, his production. I had, I have had my hangups and quirks and things I don't like about his production. But let me be clear on this album. Hit Boy delivered and gave Snoop some classic beats on this album. Hit Boy did his damn thing. He did his thing on this album and conflicted feature not features Nas on the hook. But Nas sounds so good over this track and him and Snoop, they sound excellent together. I wish Nas would have did a full verse on this song, but I get it. Track six is Daddy, which was also produced by Hit Boy, and I love the sample. Daddy, daddy. Snoop is a connoisseur when it comes to teaching us and telling us how to spit that game, along with other West Coast pioneers like Too Short, Sugar Free, Rappin' Fote comes to mind, and all of the Bay Area and other West Coast MCs. I mean, Snoop just tells us basically on this song, he gives us timeless jewels. He tells us how to spit that game, and that's one reason why Snoop has the female he's talking about in this song calling him daddy daddy is because he just knows how to spit that game track seven doggy styling this is probably one of my two fake i mean listen the whole album is dope but there's two songs that really stuck out to me and doggy styling this was my joint right here this is the one this is the one that you heard snoop was playing this song in the promos for the album gearing up for its release track eight crip ya enthusi album produced by green lantern and this song has kind of like a circus kind of comical type uh cartoonish feel to it but don't get it twisted even though it's got that feel to it the track is banging track nine gotta keep pushing very uplifting song featuring sleepy brown and ti track 10 house i built produced by hit boy again i love this song very smooth very just something to ride and chill to very smooth dope song track 11 outside the box featuring nate dog very traditional once again sounding west coast killer cali kind of sound produced by dj battle cat track 12 jersey in the raptors featuring game produced by hit boy game kills it snoop kills it and snoop and game they sound so good on the song i mean this is this is another one of my favorite joints on the album right there jersey and the raptors very tight very very hot track 13 is pop pop featuring the baby and it's produced by Trevor Lawrence Jr. And the baby did his thing on it. You know, the baby, you know, it's it's the kind of you know beat that we would expect to hear the baby over. So the baby with the special guest appearance, he definitely blended in well on the album. Track 14, Catch a Vibe. I love this song. Produced by Superfly. And it um it's just smooth. Just something real smooth, something you could just ride to, grew. It's that typical traditional snoop song track 15 it's in the air this is probably my favorite song on the album right here remember i said it was two but this one right here is in the air this is it it features a sample from david ruffin from the temptations and it samples the classic temptation song i'm losing you when david ruffin sings it's in the air snoop just takes control over this beat snoop comes at us with lines like look into my eyes till your pupils dilate and if you really want that smoke then i must annihilate fly away with no one upon my return i'm on one which leads me to plead the fifth 
On the 6th and the 7th, I was blowing the 8th. On the 9th and the 10th, I was back in LA. On the 11th and 12th, I was in the UK. Ask anybody. Regulated. Separated. A tall glass of orange juice. Concentrated. This is my joy right here featuring Uncle Murder, who comes off surprisingly well over this production by Knotts. Um, Uncle Murder and Snoop Kaveri, an orthodox collabo. I didn't expect to see Uncle Murder on a Snoop album, but Uncle Murder killed it. And uh, John Hancock is on this joint, and I love this song. It's my favorite song on the album. It's In the Air. Five Mike classic song. Track 16 uh, featuring Wiz, Wiz Khalifa. We Don't Gotta Worry No Mo. Track 17, Get This... Yeah. Featuring uh, Get This D featuring Little Duvall at October London. Very smooth joint track for the ladies. And track 18, we close it out with Snoopy Don't Go featuring uh, October London again. And uh, that's another smooth way to uh, close out the album. The only thing that was missing on this album is I did want to see Daz and Corrupt. Maybe if we would have got a little bit of the alumni from the original Death Row records, like Lady of Rage, that would have definitely made the album very special if we would have got Daz and Corrupt, DPG, reunited all in one song. And I thought we would have got, you know, Trey D and the Eastsiders. I was looking for the Eastsiders to, to make a cameo appearance on this album too. But other than, you know, but other than me wanting selfishly my own special guest appearances on this album that Snoop didn't have, this album was a perfect album. Let's just cut to the chase. I thought it was a classic album. This is Snoop Dogg's best album since Doggy Style some almost 30, about 30 years ago now. I mean, listen, Source Magazine, I'm rating this one through five, one being totally whack, not a good album at all, five being a classic, a hip hop perfect classic album. This album is a five mic album, a classic album. I love it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I definitely want to know what my audience got to think about it. And you already know, I appreciate y'all. Much love, one love. Huh?